thought you were a bit blurry, hun. Are you back? Sick. Hi everyone, it's Ollie, I'm back. So, in today's video, we are going to be doing a get ready with me. So I haven't got any makeup on, hence my massive sunglasses, because I look absolutely disgusting. This is a really big thing for me, because I don't normally... I wouldn't even normally leave the house without any makeup on, let alone post a YouTube video. Today we are going to be doing a get ready with me. I am coming to you looking all fresh faced and... A complete mess. Yep, I did sleep in this t-shirt last night, nice big baggy one. There's no point in me dressing up because it's going to get makeup all over it. I have got a big mirror here, so if I'm looking, it's because I'm caking my face. Oof. I literally look like an onion. <laughs> oh no! I like to mix my foundations. I never just go in with one. Because I've just had a spray tan yesterday. I'm going to bronze up quite a lot today. So I'm going to use... I absolutely love the Body Shop foundation. The Mac Clay one. Um, I have combination skin. So it can be really dry. But it can also go really oily throughout the day so this is the body shop foundation that i tend to use which is not going to want to show you the body shop matte clay skin clarifying foundation in japanese maple i'm going to start by getting my little palette i would recommend mixing foundation to anyone because i think it just gives you like a bespoke shade i actually have quite a few different shades of all my foundations just so that i can kind of mix a good shade every time and then um, I like to mix with that one the Revolution matte base pore blurring full coverage blah 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 whatever and this is so dark literally really dark so I'm only gonna use a few drops of this I'm just gonna mix a few little blobs of that and then if I need to lighten it I'll pop a little bit of one of my lighter ones in there um so I just get my little spatula This is the shade that I'm currently working with. I don't think it's far off. I'm just going to have a look in my mirror, actually. I reckon that's about right, to be fair, um, because I do like to bronze it up a little bit with my powder bronzers as well. So I just realised I haven't actually wet my beauty blender yet, so I'm just going to go and do that. Oh my god, that's so weird. I was like, how did it get up there? It's the reflection. <laughs> Idiot. I'm going to be using these Primark beauty sponges today. I get through so many of these, but you don't need to throw them away when you've used them. What I tend to do is use them maybe maybe two or three times, and then I keep a little pile of them in my drawer, um, and I clean them in the microwave, and I put a load of like fairy liquid in with them, microwave them for a couple of minutes, let them rest, and then all of the makeup comes out. So. And um, that's what I tend to do. So I do always have a few packs of these on the go. These are only a pound fifty, so they're so much cheaper than the Real Techniques ones. I've had a few from Primark, which have honestly been crap. So make sure you get these ones where it's like the two pink ones. I don't know what that shape's called, but one's like the classic like egg shape, and the other one's the curvy one. But these are the good ones. I literally have so so many of these in my drawer. Highly recommend. You'll see how much these expand. As you can see, they expand so much and they go really nice and soft like the Technique ones do. When I've used Real Techniques, they're like, I think they're like eight pounds for like one sponge like this size, which is fine. But when you can get the same thing for a pound fifty for two, why not? So I literally just get my little makeup palette and my spatula and I literally just like put it on my face. I'm going to get so slated for this. Like this is so... I don't know, like, I literally just get the spatula and I put it on my face and then I blend it in with my sponge. And then I blend it around my whole face with my sponge and then I can add more if I need it. Oh my god, I'm literally stressed because I can't see very well in that mirror, like the light's not great. So I'm kind of worried this is going to look really bad. I do use quite a lot of foundation, I'm not going to lie, like... <laughs> I'm just trying to provide good content. I can't, I can't see anything. Bruh. It's so difficult to press record with nails. I'm like... So now that my face is pretty much covered, I'm gonna go onto my neck and just lay that down on there. 
And then I just blend my neck a little bit with my fingers. This is honestly like the most ratchet makeup video on YouTube, like... I mean, I don't think James Charles needs to worry about his makeup throne because... I'm not exactly coming for it, am I? So now that I've got my foundation on, next I'm going to set my face. Okay, so to set my face today, I'm going to be using the Revolution Banana Light Powder. I usually grab my little palette and I just tip a load onto there. I get through quite a lot of this. I usually use about that much, so quite a bit. This is the main reason that I usually will just wear something old and gross when I'm doing my makeup because this gets everywhere but it's honestly such a good product so before I apply this I just blend out my creases again but my worst area for creasing is my smile lines I'm trying not to move them now that I've blended them out so now I literally just grab my powder and I go in usually with my eyelids first this is literally gonna get all over me great So I kind of pack it on the areas that I know are going to crease my lids, my under eyes and my smile lines and then everywhere else I kind of just, just like to dust it over just to make sure all the foundation is really in place. So I just do all of that with my fluffy brush, my big fluffy brush and then I like to do my neck as well, basically just cover myself with that. I've got so much makeup on this top right now. So gross. Right, okay, I'm back. So, I literally, when I went away from the camera, there was literally more powder on my top than on my face. So, I just took the executive decision to just change my top because from here on, I don't tend to make that much mess. It's really just this that gets everywhere. So as you can see, I like to just lay down a really, really matte full face. I cover my lips and everything just to like give me a fresh point to start from. Now, honestly, I don't want any judgment. I don't want any like nasty things in the comment section about my crusty makeup. This gets used pretty much every day. It's not gonna be in pristine condition. It's clean, I know it's clean. It just sits in my makeup bag all the time. This has been well used. So this is their MUA Blushed in shade Rose Tea. Now, the reason I like this blush is I think it's quite a similar colour to Orgasm by NARS. I never used to wear blush until six months ago. I was never like a blush kind of person. But now, it's probably one of my main products. Like, I don't think I could go without blush, because I feel like it really just livens up your face. So I like to just get it on my little fluffy Clinique brush. I just literally pat into my pan, and then just tap off any excess. I smile, and I just pat the apples of my cheeks, and I kind of pat in an upwards motion. And then I usually do the same on the other side, obviously, because you don't want your face to be unsymmetrical. And then I just look in the mirror to check that they're kind of even in colour. And just do some gentle kind of flicks away just to make sure there's no excess product on there. And then just tap in very gently, just get a very tiny amount. And I just kind of gently boop the end of my nose, but kind of the underneath, so like this bit under here. Just because I think it, it kind of continues the flush of colour across. Nothing too much, just like starts to bring your face back to life. My next step is my contour. So I like a powder contour. For this one I use an angled fluffy brush. This bronzer is the MUA Matte Bronzing Powder in shade Solar 120. This is quite a nice warm shade. So it's just slightly darker than my skin. With my makeup, I kind of have a, a big set of it for when I'm tanned and I have a set of it for when I'm not tanned. I'm pretty much always tanned nowadays. It's very, very rare that I don't have a tan, but I think it's important to stock for both because if for whatever reason I can't get a tan done that week, um, 
I need to have makeup that's suitable for that because I'm so pale naturally that this makeup would look honestly ridiculous if I didn't have a tan. I just like to grab a little bit on the end of my brush and I usually start with my forehead for the bronze. Um, so just right at the top in the centre I'll start just very lightly brushing to each side and start to slightly blend it down a little bit. I never go past kind of the mid point of my forehead with this because I obviously don't want to bring my forehead down too much. So that's probably good for my forehead. Then tap a little bit more on and now I'm going to do my cheekbones. Okay, and then I grab a little bit on kind of the sides like that and then I just tap it off so there's not too much on there. And I kind of just very gently, but I don't like it too strong because I think it can just look a bit mucky. If you have too much bronze around the middle of your face, I think it can look a bit too like dirty. Um, so you kind of want it to be more around your forehead and your cheekbones and your jaw, in my opinion anyway. Like I said, this is not like a professional tutorial or anything. This is just what I like to do. Now, what I normally do as well, grab my big fluffy brush again, and then I just kind of blend over that, just to take off any excess, and just to try and help it to blend in a little, because I don't like my contour to look too harsh, but I find that my setting spray at the end does really help to bring it all together as well. Just a little hack that I do sometimes, because I'm going full glam today, I'm going to do this today. I don't always do this, but I just grab a little, like eyeshadow angled brush and this is quite a firm one you do want it to be quite firm because if it's fluffy it's going to make a mess but you literally just grab a tiny amount on the end of your brush and then underneath your lip you can just do a little line there and it's just going to create a shadow make your lips look a little bit more um full and plump so I'm just going to do that in the mirror and then I'll show you just blend it with my finger a little bit just so it doesn't look too harsh and you can see just under there, it's just created a little bit more shadow. It's just like intensified the shadow. Um, and it just gives your lips like a really nice plump look. So when I'm finished and my lips are done and everything, you'll kind of see that better and I'll showcase it more then. But that's just like a little, just a little tip for you. But you don't want it to be too dark or too unblended because it can just look a bit mucky. My next step, I actually come away from doing face products and I pop onto my eyebrows next because then I like to highlight under them so I like them to be shaped before I do my highlighter. With my eyebrows I don't actually use a brow product this is a clear mascara so this is Collection which is like a really really cheap brand in the UK I think these are about a pound you can just see there's absolutely no colour to that at all but I find because it's a mascara it sets really really hard um, which is good because that means your eyebrow doesn't move throughout the day. So the way I like to do them is just literally brush them up the whole way along. And then when I come to the arch, I brush all of that up as well. Then with my tails, I brush them up but at more of an angle. I kind of feel like an idiot explaining all of this because obviously you're watching me do it. And once I've brushed all of that up, I just just angle it back down like so just so that my tails don't look like really thick because I don't like a thick tail so I just like to keep that front bit really fluffy that's how I create an angle because I have got naturally very straight eyebrows but I find by doing that as well look how much thicker and fuller this eyebrow looks compared to this one it really like plumps them up and once that's goes hard it's going to be like a hair gel it's so so strong it isn't going to move at all honestly it's such a good like little hack okay so now i'm just going to let my eyebrows set more of a natural fluffy kind of brow now that my brows are done i'm going to move on to highlight so <sighs> highlight is like my thing i literally love a glow so I've got so many different highlighters, none of them are expensive. So my favourite highlighters are actually all the Primark ones. Okay, so this is like one tenth of my highlighter collection, but these are the ones that I'm going to use today. So I like to use 
quite a variety when I do my highlighter. So my main highlight for today is going to be this one called Gold Digger from Primark. This is a knockoff of the Kylie Jenner highlighters. This is just a really nice warm gold shade. So that's going to be my primary one today. I'm then going to pop a little bit of mink pink on top which is this one just here. Once again, knock off of the Kylie ones. And that's just like a really nice champagne blush, like a rose gold kind of color. So I'm gonna use a little bit of that one as well. For my inner corners of my eyes, I'm gonna be using this one, which is called, if you'll focus. It's just too blinding to focus, but for my inner corners, I'm gonna be using this one, which is called Frosted, which is literally just like a white highlighter. Um, but I think it's really nice for your inner corners, really makes your eyes pop. I've used more expensive highlighters before and I'm not gonna lie, I always end up coming back to these ones. They're just so, they're so good because they're really strong and they seem to blend really nice. Then I do a little bit on my chin and then I like to do like a little sunset on my forehead. Bring it up broader here and then less as I go up. And I find that just helps your contour to like blend in a bit more as well and not look as harsh. And then I like to do a little bit on my nose. So I think that's all I'm gonna do with my Gold Digger one. So this one I like to use on my cheeks just to help it kind of melt in with the blush. So because this isn't my primary highlighter, I'm just very lightly sweeping that over the top of the gold one. And then just a little bit on the nose as well. Similar to the blush, I just kind of like to continue it across. So for my brow bone, I use a smaller one and I'm gonna do my brow bone with the mink pink shade. Just go into the arch and kind of push up into my eyebrow. I swear these are like a pound. Honestly, Primark makeup is like really good. I actually love a bit of Primark beauty. And then my next thing is my Cupid's bow on my lips. So I go in with mink pink once again because it's a little bit brighter. So I find the best way of doing my lip highlight is by sucking my lip into my mouth and then that creates you a really defined area. Like so. That is my face highlight done. Oh, that's cold. Ew. I am now gonna go in on my inner corners of my eyes. My inner corners, I like to use a really, really tiny brush. I think this is actually like an eyeliner brush. I use the MAC Fix Plus setting spray. I like the scent Coconut. This is about 17 pounds, I think, and this is definitely the most expensive thing in my entire makeup kit, but it lasts for a really long time. So honestly, this full face probably costs you like maybe like 40 pounds. So what I usually do for my inner corners is I spritz my face with this. I also spritz the brush with this. Then I dip into the pan and I place it very carefully on the inner corner because I don't like it to look messy. I like to try and cover my hair if I can. Setting spray is the one thing that I really wouldn't scrimp on because I've used cheaper ones before and they are awful. They're just full of alcohol and crap. So whilst that's still drying, but my eyes are still wet, I'm then gonna spritz my little brush like so. And then I just dip straight into the pan and then I just start placing. Once I've done this, I will then shimmer over it with the same highlight, but that's what gives it the sparkle. Okay, now that I've got a basic base on there, I go back in with my original mini highlighter brush and I'm just gonna take some of that and then pop it literally right on top. Today I fancy a bit more of a, a dramatic look, so I'm gonna use one of these two, but I can't decide which one. So I've either got the 3D Iconic, so that's the 3D Iconic Lash from Primark, two pound. They're really nice and wispy, those ones, so I don't know if I wanna use that or if I wanna use this one, which I've never actually used these ones before. So that's the 3D Luxe one, so a little bit less wispy and a little bit fuller. I think I'll go with my 3D Iconic. This is my favorite mascara. Yeah, so I'm basically gonna apply each lash at a time and do my mascara as I go. I'm not gonna talk through this bit because I get really stressed when I'm putting eyelashes on. I'm like trying to psych myself up to do my eyelashes because honestly, this is the worst part about doing makeup for me, is trying to get a set of eyelashes on. I just can't do it, man, like, honestly. For my lash glue today, I'm gonna be using the Duo one. The only thing I would say is it really smells like fish. So 
that's the easy bit because the second one is always worse. I've got the lashes on now. So my next and last step is my lips. Everything that I'm using on my lips. Oh my God, shush. Honestly, I keep getting interrupted today. Everything I'm using on my lips today is from Primark. I'm gonna start off with a lip liner. So the lip liner I'm gonna be using is called Velvet Touch. I like to overline slightly and then I kind of like to fill my lips a little bit with the lip liner as well. Okay, so that's what I do with my lip liner, but then I'm going to go in, oh my god it looks so bad, then I'm going to go in with shade in the buff for my lipstick, so that's that one there. Okay, so once I have applied the lipstick, yeah I just kind of like to blend the two together. They are very similar colours, the lip liner and the lipstick, so they really complement each other. It's, the lip liner is just slightly darker. So I'm not really a fan of a matte lip, I prefer a gloss. So I'm then going to go in on top with this Primark Gloss in shade Candy. That is my full glam makeup look. That's how I like to do my glam. I will try and do a list of all the products that I use down below in the description box. So if you want to pick anything specific up, I will do my absolute best to try and link all the products. I also wanted to say a massive, huge, loving thank you to um, my wonderful friend Becky who has started doing me a weekly spray tan. Um, she's literally fixed my hands guys because I, oh, honestly, the first like 10 videos on my channel, the hands, the hands guys, oh my god they're so bad. So I was like I've got to sort this out. Make sure you like and subscribe down below. Hit that big red subscribe button and the notification bell for me if you want to see more from my beautiful face. Thank you so so much for watching today's video. Um, yeah. This video has been an emotional roller coaster for me. And keep an eye out on my channel because I'm gonna have absolutely loads of fantastic content coming up for you in this coming year. I'm really, really gonna take the time to focus on my YouTube channel because I've just been loving it so, so much. Yeah!